What is information technology? I'm not really sure what information technology is. If you need information, you would use technology. Just computers, how they work and defending those computers, the systems, just general computer. Maintaining or setting up the systems. Their science skills, their math skills to solve problems. What I drew was kind of the uh, office space of a computer scientist or an information technology worker. This is an Earth. You can work at home or at, um, at like a company. I've always imagined sort of like the normal person. If you wanted to go more to the stereotypical, like what I think most people would imagine, it's like the glasses. I tried to draw a nerdy person with the glasses. Uh, he's the puppeteer, the computer science person. Information systems has to do with uh, the implementation of technology and how much of an impact it has on our world. Information technology is a huge term and there's lots of different aspects to it, lots of different avenues to go down in terms of information technology. I think my best description of my understanding of what that means is the whole world of anything having to do with information and technology and computers, and it's pretty broad. So we are here today at my office, Green Tree Technology, where we do custom software development, which means computer programming. Companies of all shapes, sizes, and kinds hire our business to help build software for them. So what we do is we build apps for the phone. We build all kinds of things for startups, businesses, nonprofits that they can interact with on their phone, they can interact with on a, on a computer. But basically anything that you find on the web today typically is interactive software. I do love people. I mean, that's the side of my business that I, I love most is interacting with people, trying to understand what their needs are, what they want to build, helping translate the technical side of the business and the people side of the business. Because if you don't have people using computers, we have no need for computers. But it's really critical that human beings can communicate to the computer to program it to do what it needs to do. When I went to college, I was not necessarily a computer programming major. That was not my major. My major was learning about technology from a cultural perspective and how people use computers. And there's still all kinds of other jobs outside of just the traditional, if you want to learn to code, which is, I encourage that 100% because we need more of that. But there's things like user experience design and graphic design. We need to mock up every piece of software we build and we need to make sure what the screens look like and that they're user friendly. And there's lots and lots of jobs around that. So I would say, if there's a course that is where you can learn Photoshop, I would absolutely take that. I'm an instructor in the Computer Information Systems Department. Computer science is such a wide field. You can be a very technical person, you can love math and science and programming. Even if you're a people person, computer science and software design involves a lot of uh, communication. So there's a lot of creative aspects to what we do that are outside of the traditional, you need to have a real solid foundation in calculus. That's, I would say that's not necessarily the case. We're starting to hear things like computer programmers run the world and they're going to rule the world and they actually kind of already do because they're programming all these things that people are so engrossed with every hour of their day. 